Hey everybody, Will from One Kilo here. Today I'm gonna show you exactly how I program for weightlifting on the whiteboard behind me, and that's coming up right now. Hey all, glad you're here. If it's your first time, fifth time, 10th time, 20th time, whatever, please like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. All right, if you're a coach or if you're an athlete, programming can be a pain sometimes. I know that sometimes I'll sit there with Excel out and just think and think and think about how to write a program. So what I'm gonna do today is show you guys how I write a pretty simple weightlifting program. We're gonna start, we're gonna look at it from the easiest view, but probably one of the most impactful views that you can take when you're looking at your programming. It's really common to have people talk about programming in these macro cycle, meso cycle, uh, all these kind of terminology and talk about the complexity of your super compensation and all this kind of stuff. But really, when it comes down to it, I think one of the most important ways you can examine programming is to look at it at, at the weekly level, okay? Because uh, the weekly level is gonna be exercise selection, total number of exercises, the sets you do, um, and you know, kinda you can look at a day, what day is like heavy, moderate, easy, kinda, uh, kinda feeling of them. And so what we're gonna do is look at it from the weekly level, and I'm gonna give you guys a really quick and easy four day program that I use all the time as a template for lifters um, who have ranged from just starting uh, to making nationals and making A sessions at national meet. So uh, that is coming up right now. Okay, so here we are at the whiteboard. Here's our four days. Uh, and this is just how I typically will lay out a four day program. There can be a little bit of tweaks here and there depending on the athlete and their ability. But number one, on day one, almost every single one of my athletes is starting out with a snatch variation of some sort. And that could be any variation that is gonna affect change in their program. Anytime we do a variation, when I program it, it's so that the athlete gets better at something uh, they need to improve upon. So in this case, you know, they might pause below the knee because they're bad at the transition below, uh, from bottom of the knee to the top side of the knee. They might leave it out front so we pause at one inch. We might do a pump snatch or any number of things like that, right? So snatch variation number one, we're gonna come back right into that. We're gonna squat after that. It could be a front squat or a back squat, just depending. Uh, I prefer front squats, so I like to start the week with front squats. Uh, and then we're gonna do, I, I say push press or jerk exercise. This is where push press is gonna go in the week if uh, all things are equal. But it could be a jerk exercise. If they drive the bar poorly, we might do, uh, and put it in a bad spot overhead, we might do power jerks, we might do pause jerks, we might do anything in terms of a jerk exercise. And then we'll do uh, accessories that will include upper body push, like dumbbell benches or stuff like that. This is generally a heavy day because we have three, pretty serious exercises right here, okay? So kind of a heavy day to start the week. Uh, day two, we'll have a clean and jerk variation. Now I typically always want a clean and jerk variation here because uh, I don't like to break up cleans uh, and give them their own day ever because most people struggle with the jerk anyways. So the only times we do only a clean here is if they really struggle with standing a clean up, so we need to do multiple reps of the clean or if they're so struggling with the jerk that they, they literally can't keep them on the same day or on the same exercise because their clean is so much better, right? So in this case, we're gonna have a clean and jerk variation. You know, like we said, it's gonna affect change. And then a pull, it can be a clean or a snatch pull here. And then this day is gonna finish up with some posterior chain stuff, could be single leg and could be uh, some upper body pulling exercises. So pull-ups, all that kind of stuff. This is generally a lighter day because we only have two big time lifts. This one has three big time lifts, two big time lifts. That's gonna be a lighter day. This day, uh, again, day three, we're gonna come back. Uh, this is gonna be a weak point day, okay? So if it's a jerk, if they have a jerk weak point, that's gonna be there. If snatches are weak point, snatch is gonna be there, okay? And if clean and jerk is there a weak point, we're gonna do clean and jerk. If squats are weak point, we might squat there even, okay? Um, but what that allows me to do is it gives me, because we're gonna come back here on day four, we're gonna do snatch, clean and jerk, and squat, right? So that really takes care of snatching twice and clean and jerking twice, 
So what happens here, and then we already have one day of a jerk. So this weak point is a really good point, a spot where we can make the athlete do the thing. Because everybody kind of like struggles with one, like they're a good cleaning jerker, but they're not a good snatcher. They really struggle with the jerk or whatever, right? And this is our opportunity. This spot right here is a really critical spot in the week because it allows us to put an extra time for the athlete to do something. They could power snatch here, they could pause snatch, they could no feet snatch, whatever. They could no feet clean, any number of things, right? If there is a weak point in their game, put it here, and it's gonna give you one more day of snatch, one more day of clean and jerk, one more jerk only, or something like that. And then we're gonna RDL right here, finish with some upper body on that day. And then day four, we're gonna come back in total. Um, and they don't have to be max effort totals, but we're gonna do both in the same day to start getting acclimated with that. We might alternate blocks where snatch is more important than the clean. And then we're gonna squat. We're gonna probably do the opposite squat than what we did here on day one. So we got heavy days bookending the week. Day one and day four, um, we're gonna start out fresh here and then recover, recover. We're still working hard, right? But recover, recover. And then heavy day on the end of the week, which is usually followed by a weekend. Uh, or the most rest that they're gonna get. And that's a simple four day program that you guys can use this exercise selection. We can go into periodization at some point, but right now, bam, super simple four day program. I hope you guys liked it. All right, everybody, that's it. That is my weightlifting program. That's a four day weightlifting program. Most of my athletes, a lot of them are doing four days, five days and six days. Uh, I went over in my coach's private memo uh, recently and so you guys could check that out if you wanted to and uh, but let me know I got this cool whiteboard let me know what you guys want to see me write out talk about um, uh, put on that whiteboard so that you all know how to be better weightlifters and better weightlifting coaches and if you're still here please like subscribe and ring the notification bell I'll see you guys next time right here Hey everybody, Will from One Kilo here. Program. <clears throat> hey everybody, Will from One Kilo here. Today I'm going to show you exactly how I'd program if I were your coach.